What's up guys, I'm Brett, and this is the SRX4. Highlights for the SRX4 include the 2.5mm thick carbon fiber chassis, 4mm thick carbon fiber front and rear shock towers, gear differentials, and a two-belt drivetrain system. Let's open it up. Bam! Uh-oh. Let's see, this looks like a parts addendum here. Just see, there's nothing on the back side. Half piece of paper with some extra shims, part numbers. Let's see, this looks like for the front carrier, the hub or the knuckle, it's saying use some extra shims behind the outside bearing before you put the hex on. Okay, what next? Back one, right off the bat. It doesn't happen often. So these look like some bulkhead parts. There is a tiny little top shaft in there that is aluminum, spring steel uh, aluminum. Is that a thing? Spring aluminum? I don't know, but it's got that spring steel look. Although, I thought it was aluminum, but it's rather heavy. That is spring steel. I should have known by it looking like spring steel. Moving on, that is aluminum. That looks like a suspension hanger. Um, yeah, uses inserts there. I don't know how you can see that. To adjust various suspension settings. These also look like little bushing inserts that you put in the bulkhead to move the bearing slightly. And that's how you adjust your belt tension. Back four, some arms. More suspension bushings here. These look like they're for the uh, steering blocks. Oh, and here we have some drive shafts. You know, this is for the rear. Those bushings are for the rear hubs here. These are plastic. As you can see, big hole down here on the bottom of this hub for those inserts. Big, large bearings go in this hub. Spring, uh, br sp half that. Spring steel drive shafts here. Pretty cool. The hexes, the wheel hexes, are aluminum as well. Bag seven, these are the front parts, yes. More A-arms, bearings, aluminum wheel hexes again, spring steel drive shafts. And uh, these, if I can make this, if I'm seeing this right, Yes, these are little steering Ackerman uh, plates that go on the knuckle, similar to like uh, the D8 series, the latest D8 series of vehicles, or Mugen, and they use carbon fiber. The Yokomo YZ2, same thing. But this one, they give you, it looks like three different pairs of plates for your steering to adjust your throw. It's kind of cool. Front diff, all the diff parts in that bag, tiny little o-ring seals here for your diff, I don't know how well you can see that, tiny in the shape of a, uh, like a cross or a, I don't know, four leaf clover. Bag 8, you see a carbon fiber shock tower, this is a 4 millimeter thick carbon fiber shock tower in there. Also, another suspension hanger. I like the anodize of this aluminum. Again, holes for inserts. There's hardware in this bag. Uh, a bumper for the front or rear. It looks like all the parts for that particular step are in each bag, which is nice. Uh, even the, is that a turnbuckle? Again, this is really hard to see, but. Looks like turnbuckles, spring steel turnbuckles in that spring steel anodized. I like it. Rear diff, again, looks like same parts as the front diff. Look at that. Look at that gear. That is cool. It 
looks like it has a plastic interior, but the exterior is, it looks, it looks metal. I'm not sure if it actually is. You see the difference between the interior and the exterior of that gear? That is pretty, pretty cool. Not in the bag, side rails. They are not symmetrical. Let's see, how would they go here? I, I believe that's how they go. It looks like you have a body mount here. It's probably towards the back. This is gonna go like, well, let me point it so it's you guys. This is gonna go like that. All right, that's for the servo, I bet that. That's for the, uh, steering servo. Look at this thing. This is the center spline that's going to go down the chassis. Your front diff is going to go in here. Spur gear, motor area, maybe a top piece for your receiver. And this is going to fully enclose that front center bell. Interesting. It feels fairly stiff too. This feels like some good plastic. Full set of 12 millimeter white dish wheels, front and rear. There are no tires in this bag, if you'll notice. But you do get wheels, that's cool. This is bag six. More aluminum parts. This looks like steering parts. You tell me. All right, our fluids here. So we have a little container jar of Transmission, transmission grease, it says, and then fluids. We have 20,000 weight fluid, 7,000 weight fluid, 300 weight fluid, and what I think is 500 weight fluid, all included with the kit. That's pretty cool. There's one more little jar here, and it says, uh, does that say trans, transmission grease and Differential grease, two different greases. Let's look at the wing. Tucked in on the side. One wing. Feels pretty thick. Nothing too special to say about it. It's got one kind of marking going here to trim it. Um, there are not multiple marks for you to set the height that you want to. There is just one line. Body. Pretty nice looking cab forward body. Feels pretty good. Not fully trimmed out. This big molded part here for the spur gear. That is quite a bit. cab forward body. Look at the lines going down the back and the top of the cab. Pretty cool. There's like a fin some nice molds going in here along the back as well as these front little uh, stuck out almost like triangular areas I bet you could cut these out make make these vents little air holes as well as this one back here that's gonna probably be where the motor is back 11 this looks like um, Battery hold down parts, battery hold down posts, as well as nuts, all in aluminum, all the hardware you need. The battery hold down for the saddle packs uh, is plastic. Bag three, spur gear, bunch of little pulley parts, little pulley gears. There is the rear belt. Slipper pads, looking for the front belt, but it is not in this package. More slipper parts. Um, and then we have this cool little aluminum motor mount. Let me try to shake it out down towards the bottom. It's very, very low profile. Reminds me of the YZ2 a bit. Aluminum. Probably two and a half, two to three mil thick. Very nice.
nice. I like that. Okay, bag two. There's our front belt, the long front belt, more bearings. Some more gears going on inside there. Some other plastics. Bag 10. Looks like we have some front shock springs and various shock parts. Oh, there, okay. There's an aluminum shock body there. Um, the pistons, unfortunately, on, are on a little parts tree. These are not machine pistons. It's kind of a bummer at this point. A kit like this should probably come with those. The shock caps, though, they are aluminum. Same anodized as the shock body. The springs, those look like they have a pink paint on the end. Pink or red, though they look more pink to me. So this looks to be all the parts for what I think are the front shocks. And bag nine, these are the rear shocks. Again, aluminum upper caps, shock bodies. Maybe the, uh, the lower cap here, I see it, it's plastic, it is not aluminum. And these are blue springs. You can see that paint. Again, machine pistons. Not machine pistons. Back five. This is probably our rear carbon fiber shock tower. Again, four millimeter like the front. Some wing stay parts. More hardware. There looks to be a sway bar in there. For the rear, I don't remember there being one in the bag for the front. More hardware for that sway bar. Let's see what else. Ten two. Instruction manual and a setup sheet and the chassis. Right, look at this thing. Two and a half millimeters of carbon fiber chassis. So, this is our top right here. Looks like we have these channels. This is probably where that uh, center spline kind of recesses in. Another recession here for, I believe, the spur gear. Very nice edges. Looks like it's milled out pretty cool. Look at these. Interesting little uh, recessed grooves here on the side going along the left and the right side. Pretty cool. All will countersunk holes. Very nice chassis. While we've got this spline out, let's try to put it in there. Let's just, you know, for the heck of it. I'll check that out. So the center spline is recessed here for the front diff and it just kind of slides into place. And it it's, it's almost locked in there. Very cool. Let's set that down. We got our side guards out. Why not? So the right side guard actually goes underneath the spline here. There's two holes that mount up and through. And with the right side, sits, sits like that. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video of the SRX4 unboxing. If you want more info on this kit, you can check out the link down below. If you want to follow along and see future RC videos, please hit that subscribe button. And leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. And, until next time, peace.